Hey everyone, it's Margaret with the Starboard Group of Ed Properties. I want to say happy third quarter. We've made it through and we're on to the last three months of 2021. Seems like we were just starting out this year um, and unknow unknowing what was going to be happening in our market. Uh, it has been a wild and crazy run thus far. And I wanted to answer a few questions that you might have about this market. Um, I've got a lot of questions about um, is this market is there a bubble? Are we are we headed towards a crash? Is this just the new normal? Um, so I wanted to kind of go through some of the um, factors that I'm looking at in the in our housing market here in Southeast Wisconsin, and um, hopefully that might answer some questions that you might have. Um, but first, I wanted to say thank you. Um, you guys have voted us uh, one of the favorites in best realtor and best customer service in the Best of Geneva Lake 2021. So we are really, really happy to be um, thought of so highly and um, get your votes uh, for uh, this contest. It really means a lot to us and we're super stoked that we're in not one, but two categories. So we hope to improve and continue to supply the excellent customer service that you've been accustomed to. Um, so here we go. Um, in um, what we're seeing in the market right now is a few different things. A lot of people are asking me like, is this the new normal? Is this going to be what we're seeing um, happen in you know from now on? Um, and I don't know if it's a new normal uh, because this is definitely a anything but normal uh, market. Um, but I think it's going to it's what I'm going to show you is going to be helpful in trying to determine what do we do short term, what do we do long term? Okay. Um, I always like to say normal. It's conforming to some sort of type, some standard, some regular pattern. And I'm going to go through the through the um, indicators that I'm looking at in the market right now that are showing us that this is anything but normal. First of all, mortgage rates. I've been doing this for 15 plus years and I've seen the ups and downs of this market. I haven't been doing it since the 70s, but you can kind of take a look and see what historically mortgage rates have been by decade. Um, I re I've been in this business long enough to know that eight seven, six percent are great rates, <laughs> um, even four percent that we've been seeing in, in the 2010s. Um, but right now we're hitting some really historically low rates. Uh, we're under three percent. I mean, it's crazy to think that there, there are things that are, you know, mortgages that are out there that are going to be fixed like that for over 30 years. Um, so this alone is one of the biggest drivers of affordability in our market, just because it is so cheap to borrow money right now. Um, but what's on the uh, push and pull of that is the home price appreciation. We've been seeing some so, some enormous appreciation over the past two years. Um, so I've given you kind of a, a chart here that shows our annual average appreciation hovering somewhere around that 4%. It's actually gone up. I remember doing this appreciation study maybe two or three years ago where the annual appreciation was about 3.8. Um, but we've had some really amazing years of growth. Um, so that average has gone up to about 4%. You can see in the red there, that's where um, the housing crisis was um, when uh, you know, we saw the bubble. Um, and I think that's what a lot of people are so afraid of right now because it feels very much like it did back in 06 and 07. It was like this huge run up of prices and appreciation. Um, but it's really not the same type of dynamics. Now I'll, I'll get to the back to that in just a second. Um, what we're seeing here in our uh, little slice of heaven is in Walworth in Southeast Wisconsin is we're seeing the same type of appreciation. We're seeing about 10% year to date um, on our average uh, median sales price from um, year over year. Uh, our month supply of inventory, um, it, it, people always ask me what that is, but it make, it's, it basically says the number of months it would take for the current inventory of homes on the market to sell given the current pace. Okay. A balanced market is usually about six months of supply. Um, we are seeing a much lower month 
of supply here in the market in Southeast Wisconsin. Um, nationally, we're seeing um, a 2.6 months of market on uh, months of inventory on the market right now, um, and that trends very well with what we're seeing here in Walworth County. Um, there's just simply not a lot of homes on the market. Um, Couple that with what we were just talking about with home price appreciation. You can see how supply and demand is way out of balance. Um, and then the mortgage um, interest rates that are uh, driving that, um, that demand. A uh, number of days it takes to sell a home. Um, nationally, we're at 17 days. That's crazy, but it's 17 days to sell a house. It's been pretty pretty constant this whole year. Um, here in, in Southeast Wisconsin, we're seeing about 26, 25 as our uh, average in Kenosha and Racine. Walworth is a much higher average. Um, I think that's because we have a much higher uh, median sales price as well. Um, we just have some really large homes that are multi-million dollar um, uh, houses that all are selling very, very quickly, um, but not normally in 17 days. Um, number of offers per listing. I mean, I'm sure you've been reading all about the, uh, you know, crazy stories that we're hearing about how many ho offers a house gets. Right now, um, nationally, uh, NAR has said that uh, sellers are garnering about four and a half offers per, per listing. I don't see it that excessive here in Southeast Wisconsin. We're still getting multiple offers. We're still seeing um, homes that have sold over asking price. Um, our average on our team is about 56% of our listings have multiple offers. So um, uh, we're seeing a little bit different than our national, um, but we're still seeing a very, very high demand. Um, and what that means is that I think that this trend is going to continue. I think we're going to see uh, a market in 2022, just like we're seeing here in 2021. Uh, the home price forecasts that some of these um, large institutions are putting out are ranging anywhere between 8.4 and 3.1%, 8 um, averaging right around that 5.5% um, appreciation. So what does that mean? It means that if you're going to wait to buy next year, it's simply going to cost you more money. Um, it's, it is um, a cold hard fact that um, there are plenty of houses out there for the right buyers um, and buyers are still very much active. Even in this fall market where we see um, homes usually um, quiet down where the market usually quiets down um, in fourth quarter, I anticipate a very busy fourth quarter um, and hopefully that rolls into our busy quarter one of 2022 um, where historically that has been our, our our biggest mark our biggest quarter of the year so if you have any questions about these statistics and how they might apply to you in your situation please don't feel please feel free to call, text, or email. I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. If you'd like to know a little bit more about what your house is worth in today's market, I'd be happy to pull comps and do a, a CMA that's a comparative market analysis, and that will show you what, what to expect if you were to sell your house in this market. Um, thanks again for uh, sticking with me, and I hope this information was helpful, um, and I look forward to seeing you next month. Cheers.